We're going to do a celebration of life today for Sophia Yen. There were a lot of things that we should celebrate her life for. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with some pictures and some music of Sophia. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually open it up to you. So if anyone wants to share any tidbits, any part of your life that you shared with Sophia that would put a little smile on our face, we'd love to hear it. My name's Dr. Sophia Yin. I'm a veterinarian and an applied animal behaviorist. My mission in life is to combine science with practical skill to help people understand and communicate with their pets on a whole new level. When I got started training, it was a while ago, and I started because I had a difficult dog um, even before vet school. So I went to a dog class, and the first thing we did was the old style training where you have them on a leash and choke chain. And that basically started a long conflict with my dog. And so what I say is a relationship that will help your dog needs to have more than love. Dogs need to believe that they can trust you, that they can seek your guidance. So then, after several years in practice, I decided to go into behavior, and so I did a master's in animal behavior. I went to chicken training camp, livestock handling, anything I could do that was hands-on, I did. In 2011, I went to an Association of Pet Dog Trainers conference, and I saw Bob Bailey lecture. He was talking about something called operant technology, and that was that we need to go beyond just knowing the terms and in general knowing how to do things. He was saying with operant technology, you need to take data, analyze what you're doing, and use that information to improve your plan. The science of learning, or operant technology, really requires data collection, analysis, and updating of the methods based on that analysis. With that science, we get faster advances in training, and it's the quickest way to that happy relationship. And then in 1996, the canine department of the Netherlands National Police, they decided to have a several year program where they would try to train new types of behaviors to their dogs in the military. And the person put in charge of this, Simon Prinz, he was chosen for this project because he was seen as trying new things. And, and he knew that we couldn't use force training because with force-based training, when the animal gets scared or doesn't know what to do, they give up because they don't want to get in trouble. So he needs a dog that feels confident and, and enjoys it because this is going to be something that could potentially be scary. So they can't be afraid. And with using the behavior analysis operant technology, they were able to cut their training time down from eight months to four weeks. So with low stress handling, it helps us treat more animals more efficiently and safely. It provides a good experience for the pet. It helps the behavioral issues improve. And I think a really important part is it tells the world that we love animals. Dr. Yin has been one of the um, people that has fascinated me with uh, the way that she teaches and her philosophies and her methodologies. I look forward to the future and what she's going to bring out and not just Dr. Yin but others like her. Dr. Sophia Yin was a veterinarian who went on to become an animal behaviorist, author, and the founder of Low Stress Handling. After Dr. Yin's untimely death in 2014, her mother, Jackie, and the Cattle Dog Publishing Team committed to keeping her mission alive. In 2020, her mother and Cattle Dog chose VIN, the Veterinary Information Network, to nurture and protect Sophia's legacy that her staff, colleagues, family, and an army of followers, with support from VIN, are committed to sustaining and advancing. And this is the team that works tirelessly to continue Dr. Yin's work. Dr. Sophia Yin's family chose the Vin Foundation to honor Dr. Yin's memory by creating the Dr. Sophia Yin Memorial Fund. 
Donations to the Dr. Sophia Yin Memorial Fund support the Vin Foundation's Vets for Vets program, helping colleagues facing the challenges such as those that consumed Dr. Yin. If you or someone you know is feeling overwhelmed, Vets for Vets is here to help.